Alrighty. Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for joining our second year experience webinar series. We are so excited to have Career Services and the Major Exploration Center join us today. So I'm going to pass over the mic to our wonderful presenters. Thank you so much, Ashley. Um, welcome students. We're so excited to uh, to have you join us today. We are um, we're very excited to to talk to our second year students. Um, we first want to say congratulations. You made it your first year down, um, so you know you know what to expect. Um, but but today's conversation is going to focus more on you. Um, it's going to be helping you to be successful in your second year. And so, um, so I'm Kim Bilodeau. I'm the Director of Career Services here at UL Lafayette. And, um, and with me is, um, is Lauren Landry, and she is the Associate Director over the Major in Career Exploration Center. And so many of you may have been to our center, and many of you probably took Focus 2 in your UNIV 100 class, and we'll reference um, Focus 2 and, and some other ways that we can help you, but, um, but we're just excited to talk to you as you um, as you are entering this second year and to hopefully give you some tips for success. So with that, I'll go ahead and turn it over to Lauren for her introduction and she can get us started. Absolutely. Thank you, Kim. Um, I guess I would be considered the career counselor here in career services. So we are definitely here to help you as you continue along your career planning journey. And that's kind of what we're going to talk about today. Uh, we're going to present a couple of ideas that can really help you progress and develop along your career plan as you're also taking your courses in your sophomore year. So we're going to kind of give you um, five different ideas of how you can be successful in your sophomore year, your second year here at UL and beyond regarding your career plan. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, as Ms. Kimberly mentioned previously, you may recognize me from your Focus 2 workshop that you were a part of in your Unit 100 class. So you may remember me talk about the fact that confirming your major or deciding on your major is one of the first beginning steps along your career plan. Um, it's not an ending, it's a beginning. Confirming your major can really help you in being a guide on what the next steps you'll need to be taking along your career plan to really make sure you're not only successful while you're in school, but also to where you're attractive or, appeal or appealing to be a job candidate later on as you're applying for internships and full-time positions. So you'll notice that the, the other steps that we'll present to you today are really going to be guided by what your selection and major will be in the area that you will be studying. So with that, it's not surprising that the second step is that we want you to get connected with your academic department. This is where you can really find out about how you can make connections with different professors and also learn more about the major you had declared and also learn more about opportunities that your major can provide to you. In fact, what I'd like to do is actually bring you to our Find Your Major website. Once again, it may be familiar to you, but I actually want to show you how our website can help guide you in your final decision of making or confirming that major and also learning more about the different options that are associated with your choice and major. So if you go to our website, and I recommend maybe taking a screenshot or taking a picture of this website, and many other websites we'll present to you today so you can have the information to revert back to at a later point in time. But if you go to our website, findyourmajor.louisiana.edu, if you bring your mouse um, above to one of the headers, explore your options, you can really see we have many resources to help you gather further information about potential majors and also about different ideas of potential career paths. So you can see some of the links we have or kind of how to explore majors, careers. We have a wonderful resource right here, which I'll click on, which is called how, uh, What Can I Do With This Major? This will actually give a list of different majors or academic areas where you can find out more, not only about different industries that may be hiring this type of major, 
different companies you may work for, but it'll also give you strategies of different steps that you can be doing to make yourself marketable in this particular area. So there's a lot of good information here, and I'm gonna jump back to the website I was on. So of course, this is a find your major website. Um, and this is the what can I do with this major resource right here. And you can scroll down and find your academic major to find out more information. I also want to direct you to this how to explore majors. This um, link and these resources are not only for that individual who's trying to ultimately confirm or decide on their major, but also it can be useful to help you learn about different ways that you can use your major and you can develop your major both inside the classroom and outside the classroom. So as I mentioned, confirming your major being the first step, also looking into maybe confirming your minor if your major requires a minor or if you want to add that to enhance your major now would be a good time to really do the research and gather the information so you can confirm that major and confirm that minor and what i'm going to do is just uh point out a couple resources we have on this page once again find your major website how to explore majors of course, we've talked about focus to the career assessment where it can pair you, compare you with UL Lafayette majors um, and career options. Also, you can find out about uh, different information regarding your major and the major department that you have associated with your major, which will go in on de in detail. You also see right here, colleges and majors. Here's that, what can I do with this major resource as well? And then you can go and dive into some of our online resources and also find out about how you can make individual appointments um, with myself or one of our other career professionals in career services. But what I wanna show you is just some of the ways that knowing about your major department's website can really help guide you on some of the next steps in your career plan. So I'm going to click right here on colleges and departments. And when I do that, it brings me to a list of all the colleges and departments we have here at UL Lafayette. And I'm just going to point out a couple of the department's websites that we have here on this page to highlight um, the vast amount of information that could be really beneficial for you. So for instance, if you are an industrial technology major or an ITEC major, if you follow the paths I just showed and you click on industrial technology, it will directly send you to the industrial technology website and you can find out information that will be important to you as far as what can I do with an iTech major. Um, you can also find out about apprenticeship programs, which is so important. We'll talk about later as far as gaining experience, etc. You can also find out about different job titles that are directly associated with your iTech major. So this is just one example of how learning about how to access your major department's website can provide you with a lot of information. In fact, you'll hear often that it's a good idea to start networking with professors. Um, how do we actually learn more about who our professors are and maybe what their academic backgrounds were or what their research topics are? You can easily find out this type of information through their department websites. So once again, I'm back on the Find Your Major website. If you click on Colleges and Departments, I'm going to go ahead to the, the College of Liberal Arts, the Department of Political Science. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll down here and click on political science. When we do this, basically, if you come to this about us and I can tell you every department website has this about us section, you can click on faculty and staff and you can actually learn more about different faculty that you have in your department or any department of interest. You can see the political science department does a really good job. They give a brief synopsis or bio of each one of their professors. So you can find out more about their research areas and also what their background is. It's a good way to kind of be prepared to maybe have a informal meeting with one of your professors to kind of connect and find out what opportunities they may be able to provide um, to get more connected. 
um, with your particular major department and also help you find out more about clubs and organizations that may be related to your department. And we're going to talk about that specifically a little bit later. The last department that I want to highlight, and once again, I'm going to go back to the Find Your Major website and click on Colleges and Departments. I'm going to highlight the Psychology Department um, as well in the College of Liberal Arts. Um, you've heard me talk about research multiple times already, and Ms. Bilodeau is going to talk a lot more about how undergraduate research can benefit you um, in your career planning process. But I want to show an example of how if you hear I should get involved with undergraduate research, and if your question is how do I get involved with the undergraduate research, for instance, if you're a psychology major, and you may see this on other department websites, but you can simply go to your department's website and search for the keyword research. The psychology department makes it really easy. You can put your mouse over research, and then right here you can see student research opportunities. So with that, and this gives you a little bit of information about how to take advantage or get involved with undergraduate research opportunities in the Department of Psychology. Once again, you can go to your department's um, homepage and you can find out about more activities that you can get involved in and really get to know your department and know the resources that, that they have available for you to really enhance your academic background. And these type of activities are not only important for your academics, but it's also important for your career plan as well because it's a way to get connected and it's a way to start developing your career community that you'll kind of see as we go further into this presentation. So I'm going to go ahead and pop up on to my screen and kind of show you my face here. Um, and just know that once again, confirming um, your major, confirming your minor, finding out more about your minor department, your major department, that's some of the first steps that you should really be um, thinking about and being engaged in in your sophomore year. You may have heard this time and time again in your freshman year. Well, now it's not just a matter of hearing it. Now it's a matter of actually taking the action steps and learning more about what your training and what your academic background will provide for you. So with that, I'll kind of hand the microphone over to Ms. Kimberly Billado that you met earlier in the presentation to discuss more steps that you could be doing along your career plan this year. Thank you so much, Lauren. Give me just a second while this loads. As Lauren was um, talking to you about connecting with, with your department, um, she mentioned a few things and uh, some of those things related to gaining experience. So gaining experience at in your second year is so valuable. Um, and so that experience can come in many different forms. A lot of times we think gaining experience internships. When as a second year student, although those internship opportunities may present themselves, um, your part time job is a way of you gaining experience. So even though you may be working on campus in a student worker position, you're still gaining valuable experience and skills that will be essential to get you to that internship. Um, so gaining experience, um, the part time jobs that, that you have. Um, but I mentioned internships. Um, experience can be co ops. It could be undergraduate research. Um, it could be clinics. It could be observation hours that you're doing within um, within your, you know, a course. Um, so there's so many different ways to gain experience. And, and as a second year student, um, we think it's important that you really think about um, what you're doing and how that can shape what's next and really how that can also help to confirm your major choice. Um, so I'm going to share my screen very quickly and I just want to show you some um, resources that we have in career services to help you with um, gaining experience or, or if you're looking for experience, um, the handshake system that can help in, um, in giving you opportunities to look at. So um, in career services, we have um, on our website, which is simply career.louisiana.edu, 
Um, we have a very interactive website that we're updating every day with with, um, with events. Um, but the one thing I want to point out is our Handshake system. And so Handshake is the one stop uh, platform for all UL Lafayette students job search. Um, so with this site, um, you simply log in by with the button on our home screen and you log in using your UL ID, which is your C number um, and your password. And so it's very easy system um, to to gain access to. Once you log in a handshake, this is the, um, the, the, the front page, the platform of Handshake, and um, you'll be able to update your profile, meaning your mate, it should already have your major in it and your grad date, but we uh, um, encourage you to go in and, and add some other features about yourself, um, previous work experience, your skills, et cetera. So just to show you how easy it is to search in Handshake, um, to search jobs, if you just click on jobs. And I'm just for for the sake of this, I'm just going to show you jobs in Lafayette. And so in looking at these results, um, it comes up with 134 jobs right now. Um, so if you scroll through these positions, you could see a lot of these are part time jobs and internships. And so um, you as a second year student could start looking at these internships and part time jobs. So this is a sales and marketing internship slash part time. So if you um, if your major is is marketing management, maybe even public relations, communication, um, a part time job like this could really help you to start um, gaining experience in an industry and helping you to really see what goes on behind the scenes, you know, in that that um, marketing part time job or internship. So so just wanted to show you a resource that's available to you now um, as you are start looking. Um, I also want to mention that it's not too early to start looking for summer 2021 internships. Um, that is something that is a misconception that students think they they wait until um, March, April to start looking for summer internships, and a lot of times that's too late. And so even here in Handshake, you can see tax intern spring 2021 here in Lafayette. Um, but a lot of companies want to hire summer 2021 now. So if you're thinking looking ahead at next summer, it could be a good opportunity for you to get that first internship. And so I encourage you to start um, to start seeking those positions out right now. Um, but what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go ahead and go back to the Office of Career Services um, website and um, just give you a little bit more information about gaining experience. So I'm going to switch back over. Give me just a second. To um, sorry about that. Let me go back here. Pick back up where we left off. So gaining experience. Um, so so jobs, internships, um, co-ops. Um, as I mentioned before, some of you may have um, observation hours that you have to do. Um, some of you you, as Ms. Lauren mentioned, may want to look into undergraduate um, research. Um, I can't stress this enough how valuable these experiences are to building, building your resume and really shaping that second year out and allowing you to uh, to get some some real world or get some experience in your major that can only help um, your resume as you progress into your third year of college. And so the next thing that we want to talk about is developing your skills. Um, skills are essential to any college graduate and the skills that you're gaining inside and outside of the classroom will be very, very valuable as you start your job search and as you start looking into graduate schools and professional schools. And so please knowing this now, I feel like it can help you um, sort of get the upper hand in in looking at these skills and knowing what skills are sought after. And so here at UL Lafayette, we like to uh, present these skills to students 
Um, we think they're very important, um, regardless of your major. If you're computer science, if you're English, if you are business, you still need to develop these skills. And so um, these are all things you're going to gain in the classroom, but a lot of these things you're going to gain outside of the classroom. And so um, doing things like joining student organizations, um, doing these experiences like internships and undergraduate research, um, volunteering in your community, um, you know, these are all ways that you're going to gain these skills. So it's not just the academic piece where you're gaining these skills. It's everything that you're doing as a college student that's helping you to gain these skills. So these skills include um, critical thinking and problem solving, global and intercultural understanding, digital information, um, communication, professionalism and work ethic, your self discovery, your research ability, teamwork, and civic engagement and social responsibility. Um, so if I encourage you to, to, you know, reflect on these for a while and think how, you know, where do I stand in gaining global and intercultural understanding? Um, how can I, you know, learn more about this? Maybe it's attending a lecture. Maybe it's um, it's joining a student organization and, you know, and, and meeting others and learning from others. Um, you know, here at this institution, we have hundreds of student organizations that can help you to expand not only your your connections, your networking, but really expand your your learning. And so um, so I, I, I again, I encourage you to go through each of these and think, you know, teamwork, collaboration. Have I got to that point yet? Have I developed these skills? What can I do to further develop these skills? And a lot of times, um, you know, get it, getting that experience outside of the classroom can really help to further define and develop the, the skills that are highly sought after. And so in career services, we work with companies. So we work with the, the businesses that want to hire our graduates, and we work with the graduate schools that are recruiting our graduates. And so regardless, this is the, what they're looking for. They want to see that you have developed these skills throughout your four years. So knowing this in your second year, you can start, you know, developing and looking for these unique opportunities to further develop um, your skills in each of these areas. And then the last thing we want to talk about is building your community. And so building your community is is your friends. Exactly your network. Um, you know, you're getting to know your faculty, getting to know your departments, making that connection, um, but it's kind of beyond there. It's the student organizations that you belong to. It's the internships that you take on. It's it's everything that's going to help you to to really get to know who you are and what you want to do with the degree you're pursuing here at UL Lafayette. Um, and so I think Lauren also has some tips for building your community that I'll, I'll let her go ahead and take the microphone now. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you, Kim. Uh, definitely. You want to think about um, kind of we have build your community, but it's really build your career community. So hopefully career services is a part of your career uh, community. Hopefully your advisors, your professors, just because you end uh, or finished with a class doesn't mean you can't continue that connection with those professors continue those connections with those advisors. Um, they are great reference letters for the future. Um, they also know people uh, in the community so they can help you in that way. Um, also know with building your community, it's also going beyond just you all Lafayette and beyond just your friends and family. It's your network with your part-time jobs. It's your employers, it's your coworkers. And not only that, it's your professional organizations that are associated with your chosen major and associated with your potential career path. So one thing um, that I like to stress that I think a lot of students do not realize, we have a lot of professional associations that are gonna be attached to our future career paths that we're gonna be involved in. But what a lot of students don't realize is that a lot of these professional organizations have student memberships that as a university student, you can join these professional organizations and you can start building that professional network um, beyond, once again, beyond your university, beyond career services, 
and uh, those who you meet in the classrooms. So I like to stress that and kind of plant that seed with students. A lot of time, uh, these professional organizations that have student memberships, they sometimes they offer scholarships, um, which is a good thing to keep in mind. But keep in mind, um, we're very familiar with the communities we live in. We're familiar with our friendship community, but really think about building your career community. And all of the steps you do along your career plan is really helping form that um, so that you have the networks, you have the connections, and you have the confidence that you need to go out and apply for those internships and apply for those full-time positions. We want you to be ready academically and from class and work, but we want you to be ready career-wise with all of the activities that you're doing outside of the classroom um, that's helping you just, um, just the same as your academic experiences as well. So please keep in mind that concept of building your career community. So we'll go ahead right here and kind of end up the discussion. Um, we presented today, Ms. Kimberly Billado and I, five different steps that you could be taking in your sophomore year. They may seem like broad steps, but once you kind of start thinking about what these five different steps mean, they really give you some concrete examples of how you can really, in an all-encompassing way, start building your career community by making sure you confirm your major, you connect with your department and use those departmental resources, you gain experience both in the classroom, part-time work, internships, but also by joining clubs and organizations and build that career community. Um, my name is Lauren Landry and I'm with the Office of Career Services and Ms. Kimberly Billado is here with us as well. And we're here as representatives of Career Services to let you know you are not alone in this journey, and we are here to help you um, reach those short-term and long-term goals along your career plan. Thank you so much for joining us today. Awesome, thank you both so much uh, for giving this amazing webinar for our second year students. This is such valuable information um, and some really great tangible steps that they can take to um, explore and solidify their major and their career goals. So thank you both so, so much for your time. Um, for some more information for our students, you can find information about career services at those associated websites that they had mentioned, their social media contacts, as well as their email addresses. And I will share those below this presentation as well for you to explore. Um, in the meantime, thank you so much, and we hope to see you at the next webinar.